Well, hello everybody. Happy Friday. Today's video, uh, in today's video, we're going to discuss one of the mo most insightful or one of the insightful questions that you can ask in an interview. Now, in the Paralegal Inner Circle class that I teach, I have a whole module dedicated to the interview. Questions that you will more than likely be asked and questions you should ask the um, interviewer. And normally you would interview with the hiring attorney, but first you may interview with an office manager. You may interview with both. And when the attorney has time and they usually schedule that, they're ready for you, then it's time to hit the ground running with how you're gonna help that attorney, right? And you'll be prepared with your questions as well. And if you haven't thought of that, that, oh my gosh, I never asked questions in an interview. I didn't either early on. But I learned that I was coming in second a lot and I wasn't knocking it out of the park. While they liked my skills, when I didn't ask questions, that was showing, saying to them that I'm not gonna ask questions when I'm stuck or, or stagnant. They want to have questions asked. They want to know that you're insightful, that you're thinking, okay? Um, so that's why I teach my students that in the Paralegal Inner Circle class. Now here's the question. You're sitting there, you've had a conversation, the office manager probably gave you all the info about benefits, okay? And now you see the attorney, and this is where you have to shine. Not that you didn't have to shine in front of an office manager, but you have to really shine in front of the attorney. So the more prepared you are, then you don't feel like you're winging it. But you need to get some feedback so you know that they can think as well, don't make that assumption, and that they, um, they need to provide you with answers so that you know that you want to work there. You don't necessarily want to work at every law firm that's placing an ad for a lot of reasons. So your, your ability to ask questions will give you a better picture. Don't let anybody pressure you into accepting the job until you've had 24 hours to think about it. Okay, that's too much desperation if you accept it right then. I've been in that position. I've been in a desperate position. But I took 24 hours because what I said is I was going to talk to my uh, partner. But, you know, I call, that's my husband. But I said spouse. But you could say, I need to talk to my partner. It could be your girlfriend. You know, that you need to run things by just to talk it out. Give yourself the gift of time to think about everything you saw, you took in, you absorbed, okay? So here's the question. Now you're asking the attorney this. <clears throat> Thinking back to the people who have held this job previously, what differentiated them in your mind that they were doing a great job you know what so what that feedback is going to get for you is how they view people in their firm or in their legal department of a corporation or the government agency what are they expecting what are the expectations from you you need to know that if they're saying if the answer is um, well, I require my paralegals to run a lot of my personal errands. Then you have to, and does that happen? Yes. You have to understand, what do you want to do that? Do you want to do that? Do you want to in, have that attorney's personal life infringe on your professional life? Um, it's not that I've never run a personal errand, when it, but when it comes down to that I'm running dry cleaning and stuff which I've not done um, that I'm drawing the line in the sand in my mind okay during the interview if it's well we expect loyalty and then you have to dive into what does loyalty mean to you you need to understand that some of these things are red flags the answers from the attorney 
And loyalty does not have to mean that you're available 24 seven. No one should think that as a paralegal or legal assistant, legal secretary, you, sh you do not have to be available 24 seven. You do not have to be available by a cell phone. Um, that's ridiculous. So th these are things that I view and most senior paralegals will view as a red flag that we don't want to be involved in situations where we're expected to answer the phone on Saturdays and Sundays when you do need two days in a row off if at all possible that that's a, a deal breaker for you whatever that deal breaker is have that fleshed out in your notebook so that you what's the deal breaker put a heading in your notebook and put deal breakers when they ask me to do what because that's not that should not be the norm you're there to give eight hours you take your lunch and you go someplace. You don't stay at your desk and eat. You go away. Sometimes they actually do not allow you to eat at your desk. But you go off to, I don't care if it's a coffee shop and eat your lunch. You go off. You're going to meet somebody. Even if you're not, you're, you're gone. That lunch, you have to train your people that you are not available for that 45 minutes or an hour. So when you're asking these questions, questions oh boy it gives you this important feedback that's why you should ask questions and I give my students a whole list of these to have ready you might only have time to ask four questions or five at the most because they're seeing they're interviewing one person after another so don't ask more than four or five that's my recommendation and it, you, write, you won't have time to write down the answers in there. That would be kind of rude. Um, you know, just kind of remember what their answers were and write them down in your car or wherever you are after the interview. Write them down when it's fresh in your mind so that you can refer back and go, do I really want to work there? Will, will the answers that they gave be okay? Okay? So... Any questions while I'm on live, please post them. Don't be shy or say hello. Love to hear from you. Sometimes Facebook will not show me your, um, your comments, but I love hearing from you. And if you want to comment later or you're worried about something and you want to email me, email me at paralegalcoffeetalk.com, uh, paralegalcoffeetalk at yahoo.com. And um, don't forget to check out the Paralegal Inner Circle class. You can scroll down. Um, I think the uh, link has appeared already in the feed on Facebook, and it's always on YouTube in Paralegal Career Mastermind. That's the name of the channel in the description box of each video, okay? So that is it for today. I, I will be doing more of these, and um, this is important that you ask questions. Okay, and it's not just so that you um, get this feedback, but they're getting a message when you ask questions. Okay, they're getting a message that you're not afraid to talk and seek out an answer when you're confused about something or you need that feedback for yourself, right? They know then that when you are stuck, you have a question, you're not going to hold it here because you're insecure you're full of doubt and you're afraid you'll lose face that they'll think you're you know not bright and all that you cannot think that way in your legal workplace you have to ask questions for clarification to get it clear when you don't know okay and when you start out I don't care if you have a PhD in paralegal studies you don't know a lot you don't know as much as you think you do so you have a lot to learn starting on day one and it come and that comes with asking questions and you write the answers down in a notebook so you're not asking the same one over and over again that's highly annoying <laughs> all right so have a great day and i will see you in the next video bye